Okay, regarding the sex cells, the male sex cell is also called the sperm cell. The sperm cell is quite small and it has a nucleus in its cell body. The cell body itself is called the head because it kind of looks like the head of a tadpole. There is a middle piece, sometimes called the neck, of the sperm cell. Then there is the tail. The sperm cell has the ability to move on its own. It can swim and it has the ability to survive for approximately two to three days within the female's reproductive system. Sperm cells are first produced in the testes and then they will stay within the coiled tubes near the testes for some time before they are released during ejaculation. Sperm cells can be produced in large quantities. So this one I'm going to write here. In terms of amount, sperm cells are produced in large amounts. And they're also produced throughout the life of the male. They can, however, decrease in quality over time, depending on the health of the person. Okay, now let's talk about the female sex cell, also known as the ovum. The ovum is a very large cell. In fact, it is generally considered one of the largest cells in the human body. The ovum has no tail, as you can see from the picture here. It is a typical cell membrane, nucleus and cytoplasm. Nothing much of note in the ovum. However, the ovum has a very interesting fact about it. Every ovum is actually already developed within the body of a female while she is still developing as an embryo in the mother's womb. But they do not develop fully. It is during the menstrual cycle. During each menstrual cycle, one ovum will continue its development until it reaches the mature stage. So this is the important point here. We don't say the ova, that's plural for ovum, we don't say the ova are produced during the menstrual cycle. We say they mature during the menstrual cycle because they are actually already produced before everything begins. They are first produced while the female is still developing as an embryo in the mother's womb. So before she's even born. Okay. So can the ovum move around? No. The ovum does not have any tail. It is more of a ball-like structure. It can't move by itself, so it depends on other forces outside it. However, there is usually a layer of jelly protect protecting it, not shown here in this picture, but there is actually a layer of jelly to protect it from injury.